Hey, welcome back to 24 Rooter. Ah, in today's episode, we're going to show you a couple things. One is going to be how to ring up a septic tank. This particular one is uh, not very deep, but uh, somebody put irrigation over the hole. So we're going to replace the old cement lid with the new ring riser. The other thing, and you'll have to stay through to the end, we're going to show you a little trick about septic roots. Stay tuned for that. Let's get on it. Okay, so first things first. Anytime you work around a septic tank, you kind of want to re remove your valuables, your sunglasses, hat, phone. I don't even keep a phone in my front pocket. I've had them fall down in a tank before. I got Sorry. my chew, got my flashlight. Could you say it again, please? Shut up, Siri. <laughs> there you go. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's heavier than I remember those things are. Oh. Oh. A little bit won't hurt in the tank. It's just dirt. Okay, so for this part, um, we just make measurements around these irrigation pipes and wires and whatnot. Just make little cutouts. So we've kind of already put it down there and got our cutouts and our measurements. So we're going to take this section out. And I believe this right here too. And this is just rough draft. We'll get those cut out of there if we have to do a little trimming we can so all right we're gonna go cut it up now all right let's cut this sucker up all right we got her now You always want to make sure you do this as straight as possible. All right, so that's the piece we need to, to fit it in. Okay, so now we're at the part where we got our rib riser all cut out. We're gonna go ahead and set it. Like so, and uh, we have a little bit of uneven ground, so we try to uh, make it to where the top part is, when the lid's on, it'll be flush with the top part, and this is downhill, you probably can't see it, and slightly downhill, um, probably don't see it much on the camera, but with that, at least we can uh, get a little bit of extra dirt on this side, and ramp it up, and it'll work out just fine. 
Okay, well, we're not going to bore you to death. This would be the next step you would take to go ahead and fill in the gaps and keep this thing um, solid and so that uh, not a whole bunch of water or something will seep in there, even though that wouldn't really hurt much. But we always use a little bit of gap seal. So, But the next step we're going to go to is what we told you before about these roots. Hopefully you can see that on camera now a little bit better. But these roots are growing around the pipe, the outside of it, and they're infiltrating and growing into the tank. Last but not least, heavy duty oven cleaner for the roots in your septic system. Why? The main ingredient in heavy duty oven cleaner is the same ingredient in the old and original and best drain cleaning chemical which is known as household lye or caustic soda. Um, obviously be careful working around it. You, uh, read the warning labels. Try not to get any on your hand because it'll eat your skin too. Um, if you do get some on your hand, you know, make sure to um, wash them off with cold water. Get every little bit of those little tentacles. And they ain't gonna want nothing to do with this tank ever again. And this stuff does not affect or hurt anything to do with the tank enzymes or anything like that. I'll get it as much as I can on there. So there you go. And now you know something that nobody else is ever going to tell you, probably. All right. Well, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.